This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Good afternoon, I am Aaron Nolan. And I'm Mallory Brooks. Exclusive video in the latest arrest made by Dallas County investigators of alleged online predators. Twelve men were arrested last week for the same crime. Arkansas Today's Rebecca Jeffrey tells us that number could continue to rise. A house littered with out-of-season holiday decor, a car hiding under a broken branch, and other miscellaneous trash is the site of an overnight sting in England. It's not the filth found outside that got Patrick Tucker Swearingen in trouble, but the disturbing conversations inside and online with who he apparently thought were two teenage girls. Ready? Yeah. Next door, Sunny Baker learned of the news as she spent time with her nine-year-old daughter outside. We've seen the police cars, but we didn't know what was going on. Swearingen is one of 15 arrested in less than two weeks for internet stalking of a child by the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. Shock, crazy. We spoke to investigator Chuck Barker last Wednesday. For every arrest that's made, that's at least one juvenile that's been protected. John, let me see your hands. Same night, different hands. location. 27-year-old John Thrasher thought he and a buddy was meeting meeting a teen for sex when he was pulled over. Right now you're being charged with internet stalking of a child. Putting away believed predators and leaving families like the Bakers more comfortable knowing her neighborhood is getting cleaned up. We're also learning more internet crimes arrests are being made around the state using information gathered by the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. One arrest was made in Izzard County. Investigators say we can expect more arrests in the coming days. And a Cabot school bus was involved in an accident this morning. According to the superintendent, 15 students were on the bus. Now, don't look at the bus right there in the front of your screen. It's behind that one. So right in the center, you see that bus a little bit sideways. Good news here, though. No students were transported to the hospital from the scene. Luckily, there were no injuries to report. And the Pulaski County Special School District released the name of an employee who was killed Monday when he was hit by a school bus. They say Jason Johnson was killed in the crash that happened near Treasure, Treasure Hill in West Little Rock. Little Rock police believe the bus was in park but somehow flipped gears. Investigators believe the driver got out of the bus to inspect it when the bus started rolling. Officers say the driver chased after the bus but somehow got trapped underneath killing him. No students were on board or witnessed that accident. And a pair of charter buses carrying students collide in northwest Arkansas. School officials say 14 Bentonville West High School students were taken to a hospital after the buses collided on Interstate 49. It happened just before 12 o'clock Monday in Crawford County. The students were headed to Little Rock to compete in the state band competition, an event they have since withdrawn from. The students who were injured suffered minor injuries. They have all been released from the hospital. A second flu death has been reported in Arkansas like the first. The victim, 45 to 65 years old. This according to the Arkansas Department of Health. No information has been provided on where the death occurred. A pay bump is in the works for employees at Arkansas Children's. As of January 1st, the hospital will raise its minimum wage from 10 10 an hour to $14 an hour. The change was approved by the Health Systems Board of Directors. Now, the hospital also says the move will help them remain an employer of choice as many corporations begin changing minimum wages. The Arkansas Highway Commission has approved a bid to build a new interchange on I-40 at Maumel. Improvements will include four new off and on ramps as well as widening Counts Massey Road. The contract is set for about $14.5 million. Construction should begin in the next month with completion hopefully coming late next year. As early voting continues, a state lawmaker has publicly joined the fight against issue four. That's expanding casino operations in Hot Springs and West Memphis and creating two resort style facilities in Pine Bluff and Russellville. Representative Vivian Flowers, who represents the Pine Bluff area, says she voted against the constitutional amendment for many reasons, one of which she hasn't been able to reach a deal with the Quapaw tribe of Oklahoma who wants to apply for a casino license. No local partnership agreements with the affected cities that have been publicly committed to or announced. Flower says it's the same for the Russellville area where a second Oklahoma tribe, the Cherokee Nation, has expressed interest. Both tribes have each given more than a million dollars to this campaign. It's already Halloween for some cities in central Arkansas. City leaders making the decision to move the event tomorrow, Halloween trick-or-treating, up to tonight because of the chance of rain tomorrow. Main Street Batesville has decided to move the holiday festivities. Trick-or-treaters will take to Main Street between Central and 12th starting at 5 o'clock tonight.
It's a tough call. It's a lot of power to be able to move Halloween. I usually do a jack-o'-lantern, but I had thought, well, it's going to be so rainy and everything, I won't even do a jack-o'-lantern this year. Last year, around 3,000 people showed up for food, fun, and candy. Tonight's event goes until 7. A lot of questions about neighborhoods around Arkansas. You can find the latest on our website if you have trick-or-treating tonight or not. From behind the scenes to on the air, a group of elementary school students are working against deadlines to make sure their classmates have their daily news updates. Our Suzanne Bruner fit right in with the aspiring news team. <laughs> She yeah. doesn't say anything for the first two seconds. Inside this school newsroom, there's a lot of typing and researching. Selected third and fourth graders at Central Elementary and Cabot rush to meet deadlines. It, one, it shows the kids here that w what's going on in, in the world. They're working together as a team to check off this rundown. What I like about this class is we can all have a laugh. Once someone completes their part, it's go time. Hi, welcome back to CTNN. Behind the camera is their teacher, Alan West, guiding them through their script. For the majority of these things, they have to get it done in 30 minutes. Research, write their script, get it practiced and filmed. Their newscast is called Central Tribe News Network or CTNN. The team is equipped with a mic, today's superhero day. camera on their laptop, even a green screen. They cover the top news stories, weather, a quote of the day, even what's on the lunch menu. Happy day. Today is Thursday. We are going to have a great lunch. Mr. West says the TV class helps bring kids out of their shell. I'm trying to improve their uh, charisma in front of a camera and their presentation skills and uh, then a couple of them are working on video editing. Sophia Crow is one of them. She's learned on the computer how to cut, edit and piece together a newscast for the whole school to watch. It teaches us how to be more social and it teaches us stuff too because we have to research it and write it down and look over it many times to go on the camera. And when things happen, they've learned to adapt quickly. And we also have a special guest, Suzanne from KARK. Hi, thanks for having me. And we also put guests from practicing. And we all make mistakes sometimes. These last few months, they've learned teamwork and communication is key to putting on a successful newscast. Hi, I'm back. See you tomorrow. Bye. In Cabot, I'm Suzanne Bruner. Love that. Mr. West says he hopes to expand the TV class by making commercials for the school, having kids report around campus and recording school events. How great is that? I, I guess I don't need to be here. There. I know. I mean, uh, they can take yeah, it's right. Pat, they even have the, a green screen. They even have the weather. So I know. Hey, we're out of luck. We're in jeopardy. I'm I, not those letting kids you take precious, my job. Precious. Hey, we are your local election headquarters. Later in the show, we take a closer look at the race for attorney general.